And what's up everyone, this is the Wingnut Special, and we are in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I had a request for someone to make me want to make a video on like a couple decks. So we're just going to go through them and see what happens here. So first of all, I want to introduce the Burn Deck. Which is, if you don't know what a Burn Deck is, it's supposed to, stall, it's supposed to help you install your opponent's life points. So that... They could, uh, so they can't do anything, and you can do pretty much whatever you want. Like, like a couple of these cards, like, I love Lava Golem, um, <laughs> Koala, I love that card, I love Marshmallow, on. um, and a couple other cards here. But let's get started for Burn Deck. I don't really use this card much, but you're, you want to have this one. Next, you want to have Blast Spear. One or two of those, it depends what you want. You want three Koalas. Then you want Ebon, Magician, Kurian. Then one or two Lava Golems. It, it depends what how you, your style. And Marshmallow on. Then you want this one. Then you want two Stealth Birds. For your spell cards, you want level limit, mask, and then here's a trap card called Nightmare Wheel. You want Nightmare Steel Cage, then you want two Revealing Swords, then you want three Wave Motion Cannons, then you want Ceasefire, you want two of these, then you want Gravity Bind. You want three Just Dessert, those are my favorite cards. Two Mirror Forces, two Magic Cylinders. Uh, Secret Barrel is the best card, I think, if you want to have in a burn deck. Because, as you can see right here, as I highlight this, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the total number of cards on your opponent's side of the field and in their hand by 200. So I normally stall out till they have a lot of cards. If, say like, if, I'll give you an example. Say like, they have a ton of cards on the field, like Spell and Trap, and they have some in their hand, like, I say some, like, five. Um, I would lay down Secret Barrel, um, but, uh, if they don't, and they have all their cards in the hand, then I lay down, like, a Koala, and it, like, does 400 damage per card in their hand, so, you know, it does a lot, and... And then I add this into my deck, it's called Curse of Darkness. I lay it down, like, I make sure, like, since I don't have a lot of spell cards in this deck, it says each time a spell card is activated, the controller, either you or the other person who lays down a spell card, loses a hunt a thousand. And then it says destroys all monster. I put dark hole in it and with acts of despair. And then I do a wombat. Uh, this one's a good card because you take zero damage from anything as long as this card as long as you protect this card and it's based up on the field nothing can kill you or even and anything that goes to your life points is automatically zero and then i add these in reckless good you can change i prefer you to change reckless greed two of those and the curse if you want and uh you can get rid of mask and cease fire i don't really use those that much but if you want to add in a marshmallow on or something like that, something that does that can't be destroyed by battle, uh, that's good too. And that's it for the burn deck. So, have any more questions? Let me know, and I'll get back to you.